Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Let's get right to the point. How do you stop rabbit damage in any type of garden when you don't have a fence? Chicken wire is your friend. This is a two foot wide roll. This is 20 gauge chicken wire. That's the thickness of the wire. And it has these smaller holes. This is pretty much standard chicken wire. Roll out four feet, five feet, six feet in length. I don't recommend going beyond six feet because this can uh, get a little bit out of control. This is about four feet wide. I just rolled it out, fold it over, press it down a whole lot, just get a crease in there. If you're gonna open this up, that's where the lettuce is gonna go. Just come over to the end, fold it over about an inch, squeeze it down on both sides, and then you have a perfect, and you have perfect protection for your lettuce, for your cabbages. I'm also gonna show you how to make something to keep that white butterfly off your brassicas, give them some protection so they don't get cabbage worms all over them. But this is the basic setup, and we just kind of scrunch this down, shape it over, whatever we're growing, wherever we don't want the rabbits to get to. To stop the white butterfly from laying eggs all over your brassicas, or any plant that they seem to enjoy in the garden, you can make something just like this. Now, we can cover it with the design that I showed you for the lettuces, and that will protect them from rabbits and such. This is a little bit different. Cabbage is gonna get really big. Broccoli and such can get large. So you have to kind of build the dome based on the size of the plant. Now, I like to use this early on. I don't have to worry about the cabbages and Nebraska is forming. When they get larger, maybe I make something bigger or I take this off and I'll just go to sprays. But this greatly reduces the maintenance that you have to do. So you just set this up the same way when we're talking about the butterfly. Maybe this is 18 inches, two feet, something like that. And you make the piece that goes over. That butterfly can still get in the holes. You just get a second piece and it goes over it. Let me fix that like that, and then by just having it off a little bit, it makes it really hard for the butterfly to get in there, and you would just secure it at the bottom. This creates a dome, the butterfly stays away, and you get several weeks, four weeks, maybe five weeks, even six weeks, before the cabbage gets larger and you have to change the dome or remove it. This is one of my gardens on the outside of my fenced in area. You can see that the chicken wire is doing the trick. This is on a slope because I'm actually growing potatoes in these beds and I'm trying to maximize the space by having lettuce grow along the edges here. The chicken wire cap, so to speak, is going to keep the rabbits out even if there's a little bit of a gap. Rabbits aren't going to want to crawl under there. You can secure them down with little sticks or something like that. This will keep the rabbits away. It will keep birds away. You could put peas under here if you're growing peas upwards. When the peas get tall enough that you're going to just come through these holes. Again, it's a lot easier to work with a piece that's maybe three and a half, four feet long. As you're getting to four feet, five feet, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. It works. I'm going to show you some of the uh, chicken wire inside my garden too. For protecting the cabbage, this is temporary because cabbages can get really big, but this will keep out rabbits. The second piece on there keeps that white butterfly from getting to it. And these can just sit here for a good four weeks before I have to remove them. If you want to get something a little more expensive, this is landscape mesh. It's metal with tiny squares, maybe a quarter of an inch. This keeps moles and voles from crawling into a garden. You can set something up like that, and then you get a lot more time for growing or letting, you know, the other, the other brassicas like broccoli and cabbage. They can get taller in this design. Or, you know, you have more space for the cabbage to grow. It's the principle. Setting it up with just some basic chicken wire, that's the inex most inexpensive way to do this, really gives you protection, protection from rabbits, the butterflies that lay eggs, birds that may peck your seedlings. What I also like about this design is it doesn't stand out. Like if you use ag fabric, the white ag fabric fabric cover, it just stands out and I think it looks, I don't know, I think it detracts more from the garden. This kind of blends in a little bit as you're approaching it. I also like the fact that this is real easy to store. Even though it's all puffed out now, you can just kind of remove it, squeeze it down, fold it over, put a weight on there like a couple of bricks, stick it in your garage or something, and they'll stay compressed, and you can just get them when you need them. The storage is simple, and these are gonna last forever too. Again, you would just get a bunch of them, you press them down, put them on top of each other, weight it down, and then you can just use them next year or in the fall. 
If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 750,000 subscribers and everyone counts. Thanks so much. This one's about three feet wide. You can make it to whatever size you want. Secured the side with some broken bamboo posts. And this is gonna give plenty of protection to your lettuces or whatever you're growing under there. Enough space for full size heads of lettuce can stay there for as long as you want. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. I'll teach you how to grow food, plant this entire garden, save money, and have some fun. Thanks for watching.